Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a sort of pack with me video. Thomas and I are going to West Palm Beach. Um, today is Tuesday. We are leaving Thursday and uh, I like to pack a little bit ahead of time. If I had more time, like more free time, I would pack way ahead of time because that's just how I am. Not that I really have free time. I'm actually just working from home. So I'm using my breaks to pack. So anyway, this is way too detailed of a description. I'm going to kind of take you along with me in the packing process. I've never done videos like this before, but I've seen videos like this and I like to watch those. So I figured maybe some of you guys would like to watch this as well. And since we are going to a beach and it's going to be a little bit warmer, obviously, I need to get my summer clothes out and figure out what I'm taking from there. I got a couple of new outfits for this trip that I'm going to be taking and I'm going to show you those. I'm going to show you the bathing suits I'm taking. I also got a new bathing suit for this trip that I'm really excited about. And so I'm going to be showing you all of the clothes and stuff. And then I'm also going to be showing you makeup that I'm taking. Uh, part of this trip is going to a Halsey concert, which I am so excited about. I was supposed to see Halsey in 2020 after everything shut down. So obviously I didn't. And so now I'm seeing her for her new tour, the Love and Power Tour, I think is what it's called. And I'm seeing her in West Palm Beach. We're, we decided to go to West Palm Beach because... We are lucky enough to have family who has a condo down there and they let us use it, which is super nice and just really awesome because it saves us a lot of money for like staying and stuff. We still have to fly and whatnot, but uh, like the cost of a hotel can get so expensive. So we are going to West Palm Beach to see her and using their condo and we're so appreciative of that. I'm super excited. So let's go ahead and get into this video because this intro was way too long. All right. So these are all the bathing suits I'm taking. We are going from Thursday to the following Saturday. Yes, this is quite a lot of bathing suits. I probably don't need to bring all of these, but I'm going to anyway. I had these all aesthetically set up and then this one's like all messed up, but I have like three one pieces that are like cutesy, not just simple one pieces. Not that I have a problem with that. I just don't have a simple one piece. <laughs> Then I've got like that bikini and then these bikinis down here. Um, this bikini I actually got in Aruba and it comes with like this little wrap. So I'm bringing the wrap because it's super cute. But then I also have this swimsuit cover up. I actually got this off of Shein and it's the perfect length because I'm 5'2 and most of these things make me look like I'm wearing a towel. I don't know how to describe it. It just doesn't look very flattering. So this one's the perfect length to where I don't feel like I look, I'm like, like it hits me wrong like on my calves or thighs or anything like that. These three bathing suits I got from Shein, but you can't buy them anymore, which sucks. I wish they didn't do like seasonal. I wish you could like buy them all the time. But all of these back here are different. Uh, like obviously that one back there is from Aruba. This one's from Target like three or four years ago. This one's actually from Amazon. I had one from Shein that looked exactly like it, but it got a bleach stain on it somehow. So I had to replace it because I loved it so much and somehow managed to find a duplicate of it on Amazon. This is the new bathing suit I got uh, from Lulu's that I'm super excited about. I got a lot of cute stuff from Lulu's that I'm taking on this trip and you'll be seeing that. But yeah, these are all the bathing suits I'm taking. So let's get on to like regular clothes and cute little outfits and stuff like that. All right, so here are some cute casual like outfits I'm taking. I got both of these off of Amazon and loved them so much that I actually ordered a black pair of shorts and like a slate blue. Like this is like a bra crop top that like actually covers all the way down your stomach which I appreciate especially with high-waisted shorts like these and I love this together um I might even show you like what this looks like then I've also got this like cute little number I obviously am really liking green right now <laughs> um but these are like some high-waisted shorts that go up like really high as you can see and then this is like a little sports bra I'm not usually one to wear like high-waisted shorts and just like a sports bra so we'll see <laughs> If this happens, I bought this outfit, so I really should, but I'm not like super confident to walk around in that. Um, so it's, I'm just being honest here, but I am going to take it because if I do wear it, this would be the place I wore it and like got comfortable with it. If you're wondering like what the difference is between these outfits for me, it's because this one covers my stomach and this does not. <laughs> That's why, but I'm still going to take it even if I just wear it like in the condo, but maybe I'll be brave and like super confident and wear it out or something. We'll see what happens, but I do think that these outfits are so cute. Let me actually show you these shoes I would wear with these outfits because I'm going to be bringing those as well. So these are the shoes that I would wear with both this outfit and this outfit. They're kind of like 
a tinted green, if you can kind of see, like a tinted mint, but very, very light. These are Ons. I adore Ons. They're the only kind of tennis shoes that really support my feet. Um, like I, I have other tennis shoes that are like cute, but these are the ones that I buy for comfort, but they're also cute and you don't have to tie them. And I'm all about that lazy life when it comes to like simple stuff like this. But, uh, yeah, I think these are really cute. I have not worn them at all yet. And I brought, might bring my other ons. They wouldn't go with either of these outfits because they're kind of like a bluish color, but they're not kind of like a bluish color. <laughs> they are a bluish color, but you know what I mean? But I'm definitely going to bring these blue ons might match the blue shirt I got in this, like the blue version of this shirt and the black version of these shorts. And I'm bringing these kind of outfits to just kind of like wear if we like casually go out because I want to be cute and sporty because that's like really in right now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm bringing these. I'm also bringing a tennis dress that I'm going to show you. And then I'm also going to show you like the cute like little going out outfits I have that are like a step above just like denim shorts and like a cute top and then we'll get to like denim shorts and cute tops and stuff like that. So I decided to show you these two outfits as well as a couple of the other outfits I'm wearing. So here is this like cute crop top with like the built-in bra and then these high-waisted shorts. Um, I just think these are so cute. Okay so like everything feels super supported up here. I do only wear a 34c so I don't know what it would be like if you like have bigger girls you know. <laughs> I don't know what to call them bigger tatas. So, uh, yeah, but I do really love these shorts. I feel like my legs need to be self-tanned. Please don't look at that. I'm self-tanning tomorrow. So right now I'm still like a toothpick color slash like I'm cold. So my legs look purple. That's probably not a good thing. But anyway, so I have these cute shorts on that like meet where the shirt ends or a little bit above where the shirt ends. So I love that. And it makes my legs look longer, even though they're pale. And then I've got these shoes on, as you can see, and I just think that these shoes are so cute and just so comfortable. Like, look at these. Oh, my legs are like sausages. Okay. So anyway, but yeah, I just think that this outfit is so cute. I feel sporty, but I feel like put together. So here's this army green outfit. It's really not showing that much skin. I don't know. I'm just like, sometimes I just get really insecure. So I'm very like aware of like what I'm wearing. I don't know if this makes any sense, but I do think this outfit is really cute and hopefully I have the nerve to wear it out because I think it's really cute and like athletic looking. And then I've got these shoes again. These shoes are so cute. Thomas is like all about this trend right now. Like the athleisure trend he's all about. He thinks that it's Super cute. I'm sure he uses the exact phrase super cute as well when describing it, <laughs> but he does really like it. And I think these shorts do come up quite a bit. So it covers like, you know, my midriff. And I love a good crop top like any girl, but sometimes I'm just overly aware of like my body. But yeah, I think this is super cute. It covers everything in the back, which is like a big concern. I don't want my tushy hanging out, but I think this is a really cute outfit. So now I'm actually gonna show you the black tennis dress I'm bringing that I spent way too much money on, but it's so cute. And by the way, I got this and the black tennis dress I'm about to put on. I got them at, I think it's called Offline. It's like by Airy. I've never bought anything from them before, but so far like kind of living for their like, I don't know, vibe, I guess. <laughs> All right, so here is this adorable black tennis dress that I am bringing. This is the one from Offline, like I said. It's got like this full biker short thing going on. So, I don't know, I just like this because it's got like this like fit and flare effect. Most of them are like a little bit more skin tight. I actually have one of those as well that I'm considering bringing, but I'm not sure yet. But I'm definitely bringing this and I'm wearing two different shoes because I can't decide <laughs> which ones I should bring. I'm very insecure about my legs, okay? So, um, I feel like I just have like <sighs> bigger legs. I know it probably sounds ridiculous to some people, but it's just like my insecurity, you know? So I can't decide which shoes look the best with this outfit and which make my legs look the best. So I'm still debating that. And I also need to figure out if I have enough room for both sneakers in my bag. If I don't, I still may bring both and wear one of them to the airport. But I have the blue ones here. They're a different style than the other ones that are on my right foot right now. And so um, these are really, really good. And then I have this one that's a little bit less bulky, I guess, that I'm also thinking about bringing. So... We'll see what I decide with this outfit, but I did want to show you because I think it is so cute. I spent like $75 on this dress. It's ridiculous. I don't even play tennis, but I just feel like being athleisurely and cute. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like the only cute athleisurely outfits I'm going to bring. 
it's way too many as it is, but I don't, I certainly don't need to bring more than this. So yeah, I'm going to show you some of the other outfits I'm bringing. This is actually the outfit that I'm thinking about wearing to the concert itself. Um, you know, I'm trying to go a little edgy. It's Halsey, so I want to I want to be a little grungy, you know, I don't know. I don't even know if everybody knows who Halsey is, but she's definitely got a little bit more of an edge to her. So I'm going for like edgy. I got this bodysuit from Lulu's and it's got like, just like this mesh. And um, I, I'm wearing sticky boobs with it because I can't wear a bra because it's like see-through in the back. But I really like this. It's super cute. I'm really loving Lulu's. And honestly, every time I go like on the app or the website, I keep adding more stuff to my cart. It's probably not a good thing. <laughs> but I was specifically going for edgy with this top and then just pairing it with denim jeans. And once again, I will be self-tanned. So I feel like that will also help the edginess. I don't know. You don't have to be self-tanned to be edgy. But I don't know what I'm even saying right now. Sorry. <laughs> so, but yeah, this is the, like, I think this is the winner for the outfit because I want to be, like, comfortable. It's Florida, so it's going to be warm. It's May. It's going to be humid. So I want to be comfortable, but I also want it to be a little bit edgy, and I feel like I've got that going on here. And then my makeup will be edgy, so, you know, edgy all around. I still don't know what shoes I'm wearing with this outfit. I haven't decided yet, so we will see where we land on that. I'm hoping for edgy. I'm not an edgy person, so I really did have to buy stuff for this, and I forgot to think about shoes, so we will see where I land there. I might even buy some in West Palm Beach. <laughs> I need another excuse to go shopping, truly. But yeah, this is, I think this is the final, like, top short combo. And by the way, these shorts are Levi's, and I really like them because my tushy doesn't hang out of them. As you can see, so it, like, goes below the tushy, but they're not so long to where I look awkward. Because once again, I'm short, so if I go too long, it looks wrong. But if I go too short, obviously, it can, like, crawl up my tushy. So, uh, yeah. But this is what I'm thinking about for the concert. We'll see where we land on the shoes when we get there. Here is another like sort of casual yet cute outfit that I'm bringing. Uh, these are the Levi like jean shorts that I was just wearing in a different color. They, these are them in white because I'm always looking for good white shorts that don't go up my butt. Um, but then this is another shirt I got from Lulu's. I'm telling you guys, Lulu's is where it is at. It does kind of split right here, but you do obviously it fall is where it doesn't split, but it's super cute shirt. It's almost like a purpley color. It's coming off almost like, I feel like kind of like grayish, but it really is more of a purple color. And it's just like a little cute crop top. It's not super fitted. So I feel like, you know, I don't, I'm not wearing everything super fitted, <laughs> which is nice. I like to take a break from that. But I probably would wear like some sandals or something with this. I absolutely love this. Perfect for like just like a casual lunch. But I still want to be cute. Stuff like that. So yes. Definitely bringing all of this. Love this whole outfit. Don't know why I'm doing this weird dance thing. Alright. So ignore this. I need to steam or throw the shirt in the dryer. Because somehow it got wrinkled. But anyway. This is just a cute little like almost like semi boxy crop top I got from Target recently. I'm going to bring this uh, because... You know, I probably will feel like just being comfy while also like not just wearing athletic stuff. This is kind of like semi-casual for the vacation. So I would wear these with just like closed-toed flats or sandals. Really love this crop top. I really want to get it in some more colors. It's just like kind of a faded look but super soft. So I just think this whole outfit is perfect. Um, and I might buy some clothes there, so we'll see what happens there. But this is a definite yes for the trip. So here's like another kind of cute outfit. I bought this shirt on Lulu's and didn't realize how plunging it was. I originally actually bought it for like springtime at the office. Obviously not office appropriate. But um, I know Thomas will like this shirt for obvious reasons. So I thought this would be cute. It's like a neon yellow. And when I'm self-tanned, neon yellow really pops. It works better than when I'm fair. So when I wear this, I feel like this will look even more vibrant. But even though this is like pretty plunging, I do really like this shirt and like this neckline. It's a little bit different than a regular v-neck. And it's vacation. So, you know, I feel like this is kind of like a vacation-y color and really cute. I have it French tucked, but you could leave it like untucked as well. But since these are high-waisted shorts, I typically French tuck like my v-necks. I just always have. So yeah, super cute. Also would wear with like 
flip-flop sandals or like closed-toed shoes, but really, really like this shirt. Excited to finally wear it because I've had it for a couple of months now and have not gotten a chance to pull it out of my closet and wear it. So yeah, this is my other casual outfit I'm bringing with my weird funny dance. So I thought I was done with the more casual outfits, but I think I'm also gonna bring this bodysuit from Target I got last year. Sorry, my like bra is kind of disheveled under this. But um, I think it's so cute and it really pops when I'm self-tanned once again. I'm going for poppy things. And I would wear them either with these shorts or maybe like some black shorts, but I think I'm just gonna bring white shorts and not black shorts because the black shorts I have are okay, but they're like not my favorite. And I think that this goes really nicely. So I'm gonna bring this outfit, but now I'm gonna show you the like semi-dressy outfits I'm gonna bring for like dates and stuff. So yes, that is what we're doing next. And I think after that, we'll probably be done with clothes, minus like obvious stuff like bras, underwear, and socks and like pajamas and then we'll go to my makeup and see what i'm packing there all right so this is a romper i'm bringing i just got this a couple weeks ago specifically for this vacation and it is from altered state and it's almost kind of like a dress romper it's got that more of a dress feel and i'm not usually one to buy like floral designs but when i saw this and put it on i just really liked it so i got it i think this is so cute it comes down far enough in the back and i just really like the color so yeah and I would probably wear this with some like partial wedges. Actually, let me go try them on with this outfit and see how that looks. Here are the wedges that I'm thinking about bringing. I think that this makes me look so much taller. <laughs> I love it. But they're not very tall wedges. You can see how cute they are. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Um, but they're like very slight wedges. Like they're not like super steep or anything like that. I love these and I think they go really well with this outfit and also another outfit that I'm bringing. So let me go try that one on so you can see that outfit. It's one of my favorites that I bought recently and I'm obsessed with it, as well as this one is as well, by the way. <laughs> All right, so here's the other outfit I'm bringing. How freaking cute is this romper? Okay, so I got it on Lulu's, of course. I love this color. It's got like these shorts that appear underneath while also being like kind of like a dress and I'm obsessed also love it with these shoes but i think that this outfit is so cute and i'm just obsessed with it like thomas really likes it i really like it it's a winner overall for sure it's just like the perfect length and fit i don't feel like i'm being suffocated in it and it's just super duper cute definitely gonna bring these shoes because they seem to go well with these two outfits that I'm bringing. I'm also bringing another romper that I'm about to try on for you that could really go either way. Like it could be dressed up or down. And I think it's really cute. I got it off of Lulu's of course as well. And then I have another romper that I might bring that isn't here yet. It's coming in the mail and it's like a light denimish looking romper that might be like a little bit more casual. If it gets here, I'm probably gonna bring it on the trip. If it doesn't get here in time, then I won't of course. All right, so here's the romper that could go dressy or casual. I am wearing it with these shoes right now because I just kept the shoes on and put this on. I think this romper is so cute. It's really comfy. I do wish it had pockets and it gives the, like the illusion that it would have pockets, but it doesn't. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's the only thing I have against it, but it is super cute and really soft. Um, they have it in more colors on the website and I'm debating getting some. We'll see what happens. But I did get it in like this mauve color and it's just like, it's just perfect. I could wear it with like shorter sandals, like casual sandals, or I could wear it with these, and I feel like either way, it's good to go. So I believe I am done with all of the clothes I'm bringing, of course, besides the like necessities, like undergarments and socks and stuff. So I'm gonna go to my makeup room, or the office, but it really is my makeup room, and we're gonna sort through what makeup I'm bringing. I'm very excited. I also might show you what jewelry I'm bringing because I got this cute, like travel jewelry case and I'm actually able to like keep my jewelry organized. What a concept. Why does my hair look so crazy today? Uh, but yeah, I'm going to show you what makeup I'm bringing and so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I have organized all the makeup I am bringing. I had to take a second and go through some of it because it's hard just bringing like enough, maybe probably too much though, but enough for just a trip and not like everything I love. So let's go ahead and get into it. Because we're going to a Halsey concert, I thought it very appropriate to buy her, like some of her makeup collection from About Face. 
Um, so About Face, which is her makeup brand, is like all about creativity and using things in a different way than just for what they were made. So everything is very like artist oriented. So I decided to get some of the stuff from About Face. So let's go ahead and go through that and then we'll get into the other makeup I'm bringing. So I got every single highlighter like version that she sells. So the liquid, the cream, like the stick highlighter and then powder. So first I got this liquid one and it's in a way better, bigger container than I was realizing. But, um, and keep in mind that I will be self tan. So all of these highlighters are too dark for me right now, but this is in shaken and stirred. So as you can see, it's pretty like gold, but like not super like green gold or anything. It's a very pretty like yellow gold. So then I got like the stick that matches it and it's in the shade Greek tragedy. And so there is the stick and there is the liquid, I'm thinking about using the liquid on my body and like this stick and possibly the powder on my face. But then I also got the powder highlighter and this is in the shade Stars on Fire. It's actually a little bit pinkier than I guess I was realizing. I'm also debating wearing this on my eyes as well with the eye stuff I got, but there is the powder, there's the um, liquid and there's the cream. We're gonna be very glowy. I'm gonna try to wear all of them at the same time because I'm gonna have fun with my makeup that day. I was supposed to do a trial run of like what I was going to do with my makeup that day, but it might not happen. And if it doesn't, I'm just going to roll with the punches. It's going to be okay. Then I got some eyeshadow and it's the matte fluid eye paint. And this is in the shade smell before rain. It's like a kind of like a taupey color, like a grayish taupey color. And I'm thinking I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. And by the way, these are a lot smaller than I guess I was thinking they would be. I don't know why, because like no other cream eyeshadow is in a bigger in a like super big container so there's that I could have probably gotten another one but uh I didn't so then I also got the uh fractal eye paint in the shade tin pan alley like how interesting is this I feel like this is such a waste though like I feel like if you just sold me that like I'd be fine I didn't need all the excess but this I'm thinking about using all over my lid so there is that it's got like almost like some green speckle to it. I really like it. Then the last two things I got are some lip duos, which include a lip liner and a lipstick. So the first duo I, I got is a lighter one and it's with the lip liner in Happy Endings. And that makes me think of Avril Lavigne. And then the uh, lip paint, it's like a matte lip paint color and it's in the shade Sad Song. I've never tried any of these, so we'll see how it goes. But there is happy ending and then there is sad song so those go together and then i got one more like lip duo and the lip liner is in the shade cradled Ooh, it's like a like a nude brown i love that and then the matching lip paint is in slumber this looks like this is going to be pretty dark so we'll see if I use one or both of these lip things, I just wanted to get both. I felt like it at the time, honestly. Okay, so yeah, that is very dark, but those will look really good together and give a very 90, 90s grunge look. So I may wear it to the concert since like, I'm going for like an edgy, grungy look. But that is all the about face makeup I'm bringing. So let me tell you about the rest of the makeup I'm bringing. So let's start off with eyeshadow. So I have, I was, struggling with this. I always struggle with eyeshadow because it's one of my favorite things, but I've been trying the Jaclyn Hill collab with her mom, like that eyeshadow palette, and I've really, really been loving it. I didn't even like the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I felt like it was almost too pigmented and the colors came off different from what they showed in the pan, but this, on the other hand, I have been loving, and I feel like it covers like the neutral eyes and then a little bit more of a grungy eye or a smokier eye. So I feel like I could get a lot of use from just this palette on the trip. So even though it's bigger, I feel like this covers a lot of bases. And then a palette I always travel with because if I don't travel with it, I feel lost without it, is the News of New York palette from Maybelline. I really actually need to get it replaced because it's been beaten up. But I'm definitely bringing this because I know if I don't bring it, I'm gonna miss it. And so I'm bringing this as well. It's probably too much, but I'm okay with it, so. It's okay. <laughs> then I'm bringing, of course, eyeshadow primers. I probably should have started with this, but I really wanted to, to 
tell you what eyeshadow palettes I was bringing. But the eyeshadow primers I'm bringing are the Ulta Beauty Matte Eyeshadow Primer. Love this. It's the travel one that I'm almost done with. I can use it and put it in my next empties video. And then I've got the ColourPop eyeshadow, like a cream eyeshadow, in the shade Laurel. And uh, I've been loving this, so I'm definitely bringing these. And then I'm bringing the Wet n Wild shade, uh, like the eyeshadow in the shade Brulee that I always bring and always use to set my eyeshadow primer. Then for mascara, I am bringing the, um, of course, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer. Then for my lower lashes, I am bringing the Maybelline Lash Discovery. This is the one with the teeny tiny brush because I just have been loving using this. It makes my eyelashes look much less spidery than when I use like my regular mascara down there. And um, I ran out of my number seven 360 Ultra Mascara, so I'm probably gonna go to Target when I'm down there and buy a replacement of that. But until I do that, I'm gonna be taking this Rare Beauty mascara. And honestly, guys, I have been loving this mascara. Like, every time I wear it, somebody either thinks that I'm wearing false eyelashes or they're like, how are your eyelashes that perfect? Like, it separates it, but makes it, like, it volumizes your eyelashes while also separating them so they don't look clumpy. And it makes your eyelashes look so long. I also have been using eyelash serum but this is also like such a superstar product. So definitely bringing this and loving it. Um, so we need to talk about this primer. Um, everybody's been talking about like the Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. and how it's a dupe for the Milk Makeup Primer. Let me tell you, I like the e.l.f. Primer. I do, but not as much as I love the NYX Plump Right Back Serum Primer. P plumping serum and primer. This is amazing. I'm almost done with it. Um, and I haven't even stuck it in my speed reviews video yet because I haven't gotten a chance to film that yet. But this might end up in my empties before it ends up in a speed reviews. We'll see what happens because I am so close to running out. I might even have to purchase it while I'm down there because I have been using this exclusively for like two months now and my makeup has never lasted this long and never looked better. So this is amazing. It's like $17, which is way high for drugstore. And I don't know why they're so proud, but I mean, I would be proud of this as well if I sold this makeup primer because it is that good. And I'm actually going to be doing an updated like work makeup tutorial, like how to make your makeup last um, soon in the future. So this definitely will be featured in that. I'm definitely bringing this because anything to combat against the Florida heat and humidity, everyone. So the foundations I'm bringing are of course, no shocker at all. The L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear, I'm bringing it in my self tanner shade 460 and my regular shade 420. This one I'll wear when I'm like freshly self tanned and sometimes like when my self tan fades, I have to combine these. So like, you know, it matches better. And then of course I'm bringing this just in case I don't self tan again when I'm there. I may, we will see. Um, and then I'm also bringing the L'Oreal True Match Nude. I really like this stuff. The only thing I hate is the dropper sucks. Like it's awful. It doesn't work. Like don't even, don't even try. But um, I've really been loving this stuff. And I also think it's very comparable to the Beauty Blender one um, that I'll stick a picture on the screen. On, I'll stick a picture of it on the screen here. Um, I think they're very, very similar, but I don't have that one in a summer shade and it's out of stock at my local Sephora. So I'm going to bring this because this is like my self tanner shade because I just want a product that is easy to put on, covers a little bit, but is just easy. So I'm bringing this, love it. I'm bringing the Age Perfect Powder Foundation from L'Oreal. I'm almost out of this. I really actually need to repurchase it. I don't use this as a like standalone powder foundation. I use this to set my makeup and love it. So definitely bringing this. And then for loose powder, I'm bringing the L'Oreal Infallible uh, I think this is just, yeah, just the regular L'Oreal, just the regular L'Oreal Infallible Loose Setting Powder. Um, I ran out of the Maybelline Fit Me, but I love this one and the Maybelline Fit Me equally, and this one's also smaller, so it's easier to travel with. Concealer. Let's talk concealer. So my favorite concealer right now is the Catrice True Skin Concealer, but I forgot to buy this in a darker shade. So it could work. I'm not really sure if it will work when I'm self-tanned. I'm gonna bring it just in case, and if it doesn't, or if I need to like adjust a little bit, I'm also bringing the Rare Beauty Concealer. I actually really like this concealer. Um, I don't know if I would repurchase it. I'm still like trying to figure out if I would because I just love the Catrice one so much and it's cheaper. But um, yeah, I'm bringing both of these. This one I've had for so long, it's probably to the point where I need to stop using it. 
but it doesn't smell weird or anything. So I'm going to keep using it. And then a problem I was running into was the fact that I really wanted to bring under eye correctors, like the peach correctors. And I really love the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I kind of went on a kick where I bought like three very close to each other. So after this one, it made me fall in love with under eye correctors so much that I also bought the Tarte one that um, Tati talked about. And it, they all look very similar in shade, of course. You don't need all of these. You really only need one. I'm just a crazy person. I also bought, during the Sephora VIB sale, I also bought the Bobby Bound, Bobby Bound, what was that? I also bought the Bobby Brown color corrector in light bisque. And then somebody on a YouTube video mentioned that they also have a stick version of that. So I bought the stick version of that as well. So I had a hard time eliminating which ones um, I didn't need to bring because I don't need all four of them, obviously. But I do love to bring these kind of products because when I'm going for like very like minimalist in terms of like effort and maybe even look makeup, I want an under eye corrector way over concealer. I don't even want to blend. I just want to go boop, boop, boop. And then like my dark circles like don't exist and I feel good about myself. So because I had to eliminate some, I am going to bring two. Uh, so I'm bringing the Tarte one because I always travel with the Charlotte Tilbury one and I want to keep trying this one out some more even though I already know I love it. And since I also bought the Bobbi Brown one in both the stick one and in the regular potted version, I wanted to bring a stick like version of it because I felt like that would be easiest. And then that way I would feel like they were different enough to where I wasn't packing too much. It's a lie I tell myself, but it's fine. It's really fine. So let's talk about like the bronzers I'm bringing and like highlighters and blush and then lips. Okay, we're getting almost there. So the first bronzer I'm bringing is this Milani Silky Matte Bronzer. This is in 01 Sunlight. It's a little bit darker, but I'm excited to use it again uh, because I've been using my L'Oreal Lumi Bronzer so much because it's been winter, but now I'm like starting to want a little bit deeper bronzers, especially because I'll be self-tanned and I'll need a bronzer that's a little bit darker-ish. Um, so I'm also going to be bringing the Danessa Murex cream bronzer. I love this stuff. It's almost got like a moussey texture and I haven't used it since last summer and I am ready to whip it out again. So definitely bringing this, by the way, this is in the shade light. And then I'm bringing this M Cosmetics, um, bron it's like a, their stick bronzer in the shade Terra. I'm running out of places to swatch. So it's a little bit deeper as you can see. I did pick this one up because it's got a little bit of a cooler undertone, but I'm still trying to like figure out how I feel about it. I've only used it once, so um, it's a little risky to bring, but the one time I used it, I did really enjoy it. And um, since it is a little bit darker, it gives me that option while I'm self-tanned to have, you know, bronzer that's a little bit darker, so I have an itch. But, um, so the main highlighter I'm bringing besides the like About Face one is actually this Jaclyn um, putty highlighter in Skylight. So you can't buy this anymore. I'm hoping that she like brings it back, you know, but I can't wear this in the winter cause it's too dark. But when I'm self tanned, it looks real good. It looks real good. That launch for her was very controversial because she never knows how to avoid drama, even if it's easy to avoid, but I do like the highlighter. And the only brush, I, the only blush I'm bringing is this M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Blush, and I'm bringing it in the shade Baroque. Like, how freaking pretty is this? Like, I just love this. It doesn't swatch very well, but it goes on your face. It doesn't swatch very well. But the way it goes on your face is just so beautiful. It's got a little bit of a glow, and I'm going for that glowy look because it's summer. And all, of, well, it's not really summer. It's still spring, but it feels summer-esque. So that's what I'm going for. So, um, let me go over the setting sprays I'm bringing real quick. I feel like I'm not centered. Sorry. So I'm of course bringing my Milani Make It Last setting spray. I've already repurchased this in the jumbo size. So I need to finish up the little bit that I have left and this will be the perfect opportunity for that. And then another one that I have been using quite a lot and I'm almost out of is this Revlon Colorstay Lock Setting Mist for 24 hours. I love this and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this, have already repurchased it. It's going to be featured in an empties video very soon. And I'm telling you, I can't believe nobody is talking about this because it is so good. So I want to use both of these up because they're almost gone and this would be the perfect opportunity to really just use them up and not have to like buy a separate one to take, if that makes any sense. 
So I'm taking both of those and that's what, let's go over my lip products real quick. But I think I'm also gonna tell you which perfumes I'm bringing. Uh, just so you know, I feel like this is the perfect portion to tell you that. But um, I did already tell you, of course, the about base lip products I'm bringing. But I'm bringing more other than that because I'm a crazy person, I guess. So at first I'm bringing this Milani Easy Liner in Most Natural. It's one of my favorite lip liners. It's a darker nude. And to match that, I'm bringing this Makeup by Mario uh, Ultra Suede Lipstick in the shade Erin. It's a little bit of like a darker nude with like a sort of rosy undertone, if you can tell. But the Milani lip liner and this lipstick go together so well. So I'm gonna be bringing both of these and then i'm going to be bringing this uh sephora gel rouge lip liner in the shade sinker suede that would also go with that lipstick um but the reason i'm bringing this is to either wear, wear alone or to wear it with this maracuja juicy lip plump by tarte that's new everybody's talking about like the regular version of this I didn't even know that there wasn't, there was just like a no plumping version of this. Oh no, I didn't bring it for that. Sorry, I don't know what, that's not right. This is what happens, but I am gonna bring this and oh yeah, that's right. I'm gonna be wearing it with the Rimmel lip liner in Innocent. Yeah, those match and then these match. So I'm going to be bringing Innocent and the Tarte Juicy Lip Plump. I've really been loving this. Love it, love it, love it. I'm also going to be bringing the Sephora Gel Rouge Lip Liner in the shade The Nudist. This I typically just wear on its own. I just really like it for that. So yeah, and then I'm also bringing the Maybelline, what is this called? Color Sensational Lipstick in the shade More Blonde. This right here gets so much attention you can buy it anywhere and i want to try more of the shades but I'm, i haven't tried this when i'm self-tanned so i want to see what it looks like because i feel like it's going to be such a good nude like tan as well it's a good nude for me fair but it's going to be like a nude or nude when i'm tan obviously and then lastly because i'm extra i'm bringing this merit lip signature lipstick in the shade baby i actually did a dedicated video on merit and this was the like highlighted product in that video and i tried it in the shade slip because I couldn't get access to the shade baby, but I liked it so much that I ordered it in the shade baby during the Sephora VIB sale and I'm bringing it. And as I'm swatching these, these are very similar, but I'm gonna bring all of these anyway because I want to. The perfumes I'm bringing um, all have a little bit of a different vibe from each other. Two of them are kind of similar, but not the exact same. So one of them I heard about from Tati and it is Salt. I have it in this trial size. I got it during the Sephora VIB sale with like where I could buy the full size and the trial size for like basically the price of the full size. So I bought that and I love it. It literally smells salty. She describes it in a way that I don't agree with. She's like, it's a little floral. I'm like, it's not floral at all. It smells like it's described salt. It smells salty and I think that's very appropriate for the beach. And then I'm also bringing this replica sailing day perfume. This is probably my, actually all of these are like my current favorites, but this smells so good. So Sailing Day is also very appropriate. Um, but sometimes I even layer these because they like make such a nice combination as well. And a little bit of a sexier scent I'm bringing is this Nemat Amber Fragrance Oil. This one I'll probably, yeah, this one I'll probably wear to the Halsey concert because it's like sexy. Yeah, but it's a fragrance oil. So it lasts a lot longer in here as well as like, I feel like it lasts a very long time on your skin as well. So those are the perfumes I'm bringing. Let me go ahead and show you what jewelry I'm bringing before I close this video off because I wanna show you my jewelry case. Um, and then after that, I will close this video off and the next time you will see me will most likely be in a vlog. Let's go ahead and let's figure out what jewelry I'm taking on this trip. So this is not a very flattering picture of these, but these are like earrings that like loop around your ears. I feel like these will be perfect for the concert because they've got that sort of edgy vibe. Um, and then I think I'm gonna take both of these earrings right here, these and these, because they're very beach-esque to me. And then I'm gonna take these hoops because there's always room for a good hoop. And then I think I'm also gonna take these as well. And then this necklace. And then I think that's it, besides like the studs or whatever that I wear 
like as earrings on the plane because I don't really need too many, but I wanted some variety. So yeah, I think that's it for jewelry. Let me put them in my new travel jewelry case and see how it all fits. Okay, so this thing is so cool. So I put each of my sets of earrings in here. I am going to wear like little studs or something on the plane. And then I did take off my wedding and engagement ring to show you what those look like. It's just like so organized. I I'm obsessed. And then I hung the necklace up here and put it in this little pouch. So this is so organized and like I feel like my jewelry won't get all tangled up now. So definitely a great investment. Probably going to be featured in the next Amazon favorites video, honestly. All right, guys. So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. It was sort of a video that was a little uh, impromptu. Like I didn't plan out exactly how to do this. I've never done one of these before. So hopefully it was relatively good and like easy to follow. Um, I hope you guys liked this video of course and if you did please give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already i love doing more lifestyle stuff um i've been doing a lot of more lifestyle stuff recently like declutters like even though the declutters have been of my makeup and like my clothes but like i really am enjoying it i'm excited to do like a travel vlog for you guys so hopefully you guys will enjoy that and so that is pretty much it for now I've got to finish off this work week so I can get to vacation. And then after that, I will see you guys in West Palm Beach, or at least on the way to West Palm Beach. So for now, that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.